Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. On a very rainy afternoon, the Bears dropped their first match. After going 19-0 in the last two seasons, the Bears ran into a white-hot Graham Kapowson team and lost for the first time this year. On a day when it seemed GK could not miss, the Bears still bowled well, shooting an impressive 1,898, but it was not enough to keep up with the Eagles. Anchor bowler Brooke Johnson led the Bears with a 169 and 174 effort, and her solid play helped the Bears win with both Baker games. Alyssa Hoff's 149 and 167 helped the Bears clinch the tiebreaker over GK by keeping the total, the total pin differential in favor of OHS. The swim team continued its undefeated dual meet season with a 127-39 win over Sumner High School last night. The team won 10 out of 11 events. Tony Panorama continued his undefeated streak wins with wins in the 50 free and the 100 backstroke. Dylan Dang outtouched Sumner's top swimmer to win the 100 fly. Lucan Newson, Matthew Jones, and Sam Roberts went 1-2-3 in the 500 free. It was a great meet after the long winter break with 35 of 48 season best as the team prepares for for meets next week against Rogers and Puyallup. Go Bears! <laughs> if you did not make the informational meeting on the 5th, you can stop by Mr. Stevick's room to pick up information about winter training and or if you have any questions about turning out for track and field. The track and field team will be officially starting at the end of February. Makerspace is hosting a workshop both bear times on January 12th. We will be designing snowflakes to be 3D printed. No experience is necessary and it will only take one bear time to be done. Everyone is welcome. The next senior class meeting is Wednesday, January 12th. Meet us in the gym during Bear Time B. Happy birthday to Spencer Hunter. Go Bears!